now this is what we have of that tracing so just the shape of the pattern just the shape this is what we are going to use for our cutouts and this is our background that holds them together so right now this is going to help us the variation of the light reflection is going to help us in choosing the perfect fabrics how bright or dark they have to be we can see that the face here is the brightest part and the hand then this other side is darker this is the darkest part of the body this part and this part is dark is the darkest part so that's going to help us in choosing so here for the face the brightest part i gave it number one number one then the other side that is a bit darker number two then the darkest part has number three the darkest part has number three also the ear number three because it's very dark number three number three so right now we'll be starting a cut out i have my fabrics that i'll be using most times i like using something similar to the picture if you have if not you can work with whatever you think is good so i have a colorful fabric i'll be using this for the scarf and for the body you can see though it's not the same but it's quite similar because it's colorful beautiful then i have this fabrics this is the darkest almost like a coffee brown now that's what i'll be using for the darkest part then the other darker part i'll be using this this is gold then I'll be using orange for the lightest part. So whatever your choice is, just make sure that you go according to the variation of the picture looking beautiful. So now, we're going to start from the head part first. Here. Here. And here. So we're going to start with this. We're going to cut the head part first let me name just the hair and the head head front I like labeling them front because sometimes they can be uh, confusing so you don't make a mistake when you're placing them for the shorter part you can just put f okay yeah i think i'm done so go ahead to cut go ahead to cut so once I'm done cutting, I'll take the fabric I'll be using. Yeah, so the fabric is ironed already with a fusible, you can see. So it has a little weight to be easier for you to cut. So this is the back of the fabric. This is the front. Of the tracing paper you turn it back make sure that you place the front on the back on the back of the fabric so the front is facing the back then you trace out yeah so after tracing your cut so 
so I'm done tracing so this is it then I place it here for the body this is also like a guide then I place it on it place it on it then I put my cut out to be sure I'm doing the right thing to be sure everything is exact so you can see this is what we have so I use a glue gum the glue is like a fabric glue you have some just something to hold it so that when you move it doesn't fall out then you have to rearrange yeah so now you can see what I have so now we are going to go with the other processes for this when it comes to this when you realize that you have you know a lot of little little pieces around the face that you have to cut and then in cutting them in going straight and in cutting the tiny pieces at once it might not it don't help you really get the exact part so what you do you look for the biggest part that has the whole that has many smaller parts many smaller like so for this particular face it has a lip it has the teeth it has a nose shape it has the eyes so we are going to cut this bigger part out we're not going to cut this bigger part so part is number one so we're going to cut this the whole part out So this is what we have this is number one so I said number one is going to be the brightest shade that you're using so this is the brightest shade so I turn it to the back then I place the front always remember to the back then I'll trace So after tracing, I'll cut out. So after doing that, we bring for the, for the face. I think it's easier because of the eyelash that is showing. So it might not be too difficult to know where to place. I might not really need. To bring to bring the other pattern of the cutout then for this I'll place then I'll place it's better we do the bigger parts so after then we can concentrate on the tiny parts you do the bigger part first then later you concentrate this is where we're gonna have the eyes and the lip so when it's time i'll teach i'll tell you what to do there so now we have number two you can see number two to have some tiny piece so we are not going to cut those tiny pieces out yet we are just going to cut the whole of number two so number two is the darker fabric not the darkest the darker so it's facing the back 
always remember that the front is facing the back then we trace Trace it after tracing, then we we'll cut. So we are not done with this, and this we are just gonna place them aside until we are ready. So after cutting, we we'll place for this one. See, you can place it's not something hard because. You already have the other part. <laughs> it's taking shape already. Whoa. <laughs> so, put the gum. I will continue. The next is um, number three. Number three is the darkest part. We cut out number three. So number three, so the front, okay. So number three is the darkest shade. So this is the darkest shade for me. So the front on the back. The front on the back. After tracing, or oh, cut out. No, please. In order to get it brightly, we place the other one here. Okay, so what we're supposed to have here, please. <coughs> So now we move on to the body. On the blouse, we have the hand, we have the jewel, that's the bangle. So I'll advise that for things like this too, because we have other smaller parts to make it very neat, we'll have to cut the whole blouse first. So including just the whole parts here. That's what we're gonna cut out. So I'll turn it the front on the back. Front on the back. Then we trace. And don't trace it. Now we to cut out. Yeah. And don't trace it out. Wow, look 
so pretty, look so pretty, look so pretty. Whoa, I love what I'm seeing. Wow, are you feeling it? <laughs> so, I'm gonna place. Yeah, you can see what we have here. Looking beautiful already. Oh, oh, looking beautiful already. So, we'll be making. So, now that we are done, so now we'll be making. The hand, the shape of the hand. So now we're going to put everything together at the bottom. So I'm done cutting out so we can still be using this as our guide so we have a perfect placement then I'll advise that we cut the hole in one fabric first so the larger part is number one which is the lightest part so I have my number one here I'm gonna put the whole hand with number one. So I'll trace. So after tracing. I'll cut out So cotton place. Let's place this to be sure. So so we can have. So then the darker part, this is number one, the other side of the hand of course is number three, that's the darkest part, so to do that I will have to pull out the bangle. Three. 
so. Please remember front and the back. And I'll place it on this. I have to be sure. That's not too much. Yeah, almost done. Thank you. 